Hey, welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today is Cyber Monday. Ah! Are you ready? Are you getting those gifts today? <laughs> what are you doing today? I've got my coffee and uh, <clears throat> still got the crud going here. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm juicing up here with my, <laughs> my coffee. <laughs> How are you? Good morning. I see some people hopping on. It is Cyber Monday. Tell me, are you shopping today? Are you, were you holding out for all the good deals? <laughs> we have so many people in the crafting world and we do so much online. I can imagine today of all days is the day for that. Uh, good morning, Bridget. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Um, I, I know that in the past I have spent, um, spent waiting till Monday to be like, okay, I'm on and I'm, and I'm off on the races and I'm buying, I'm, you know, <laughs> cause I don't like going to the, um, Thanksgiving, um, after Thanksgiving Black Friday, which now starts on Thursday. So. Anyway, if you're just hopping on, welcome, welcome. Tell me if you're shopping today for Cyber Monday. Good morning, Ellie. Good morning, Stephanie and Madeline. Joanne, hey, good morning. I was delayed this morning. I was hoping I was going to cool, do this cool feature where I could like broadcast from my computer screen and then just share with you the um, the sites that I was browsing and be like, okay, and go here and go here and was not working for me. So I was like, ah, just gonna get on the phone and do the Facebook Live from the phone. So anyway, I'm trying to figure that out. But um, I, I did get to the point where I could do a broadcast with a second person. And so um, I'm thinking, I'm gonna put Joanne on the spot. Um, I asked Carol already, and she might be willing to do a live broadcast, but Joanne, would you ever wanna be a guest? Y'all encourage her if she does it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey Chris, good morning, welcome. Hi Barbara, and who else is hopping on? Ellie, oh Ellie hasn't shopped all weekend. You got a shopping list, uh, gonna stick to it and midweek, oh, oh, in the middle of December, okay. Well, um, <clears throat> I uh, Cyber Monday, I saw the thumbs up and loved y'all. Yes, Joanne, you. I'm like, I'm trying, the camera I put over here today, and then I'm reading the comments, so I'm, I'm like a little like, but yes, moi, chez moi, do you want me? It would be like a split screen, and we could be like, hey, what's up? Maybe we could do a talkie talk. Yeah, guest spot, man. I'm asking, I'm putting her on the spot to be a guest spot. Would that be cool if we could do that? So I figured it out this morning and I could totally do a broadcast and, um, and have her hop on, but I had to like plan it, <laughs> but all I have to do is give the person a link and I think it works. So maybe we'll do a test one today, which I'll be, uh, open to a testing. I don't know. Maybe I could do a private one. Hey Lori, good morning. Um, so if you guys, you like that Ellie? If you guys um, want to do, because I, I love, you know, it'd be kind of fun to just have us chat along, right? Uh, if you want to, um, you know, I think I can do that for my phone, but I think it has to be a guest person. But I thought it was really cool because I was able to like push this button and it puts this banner up underneath my, um, on my person and it says, Kristen Mangus. Like it's all official. Live from Fort Worth, Texas, that's Kristen Mangus. <laughs> If there's coffee and yarn, well, if it your house, if you're at your house, then you're in charge of the refreshments. Do I need to send you something so that you can go grab you some special Starbucks and then be like, Kristen bought me coffee for this coffee talk today. <laughs> Live from Maine. She's knitting a lobster in the background. It's Joanne Gay. And the yarn crowd goes wild. <laughs> okay, everyone. Speaking of shopping, so I have an Etsy store in Ravelry, and I have 
a code for you and I will give that to you. Joanne has a pattern too. I don't know if she's on uh, on um, Etsy. I know she's on Ravelry. I don't know. I can't remember. I think she may have a sale going on. Let me go look. I need to go look at the thing. Um, let's see. I need to look at um, Good Knit Kisses. Um, uh, the loop the the uh, break room because if you aren't in the break room you probably want some of these um, uh, want some of these codes and I think Joanne may have a sale but I know we have some other sales and so I'm looking for this to give you guys the code and then I'm gonna what I do is I'm gonna paste it in the chat and whoever still has codes running will get the benefit of me giving them the link here um, we had a post from uh, Carol and I'm trying to find it. Hey, Luisa, buenos dias. I'm funny, Madeline. Is it Madeline or Madeline? Um, I'm, try I'm trying to, you know, it's what sucks. The reason why I want to broadcast from my computer is so that when I'm on my computer, I don't have to like look around my phone. So that's the that's the deal. So why can't I find this post with the Good Friday stuff? This really sucks. Cuz Carol did a post for Black Friday and I can't find it. Did it get deleted? Does anybody know? Um Okay, so my Etsy store, if you go to Etsy.com and look for Good Knit Kisses store, if you would like 24% off, because I did, is it 23 or 24? 24, because um, Thanksgiving was on the 24th, and so I did it like that. So it's 24 thanks, and thanks is all capitalized. And if you go to, here it is, I found it, I found it. Okay, bump. Um, okay, Joanne has 15% off. Um, so mine is 24 thanks for, for mine, and Joanne has on her Ravelry page for Frog Pog Designs is, um, and it's through November 30th, and I'm gonna go to, um, uh, I'm gonna get this uh, and post it in our group here. Sorry, I'm trying to find my page here. Good morning. Oh, there you go. Okay, Joanne's got it. She posted it. 15% off. So if you have a deal that you want everybody to... I just got a phone call coming in. I don't know who that was, but I'm declining. So um, let's see. So see Joanne's sale link. 15% off. She has an awesome loom knit skirt that's amazing. And uh, she's she's got that and you can size it up. You can go to toddler um, all the way to, she did it for her daughter who's a teenager, but I think you can go even further. Um, oh, I need to post it as good knit kisses. Why did it do that? Okay. All right, there, let me change how I'm posting. Um, you love my hat? Thank you. This is on my um, Etsy store, and let me get you the link for my Etsy store. Um, Etsy.com slash shop. If you want your your um, your link for an Etsy store, if you do Etsy.com slash shop slash the name of the shop, um, it that works or at least it works for me and most of the names that I've tried but sometimes when you search for a shop it doesn't quite work out that way all the time so um, uh, so GKK store till end um, of uh, November I've got 24% off and the code is um, 24 thanks yeah and uh, yeah you're welcome you're welcome for the little plug so this hat right here um, I'll show you the the link um, 
I'll show you what it looks like in here. I'm gonna flip my screen. This is it right here. And um, this is the, um, <clears throat> the slouchy newsboy hat. And this is the one I'm wearing. And um, it has this nice flat top. And the one I'm wearing is more fitted. And then you can add an extra ridge and it becomes this extra bulky kind of stove top. It's slouchy in the back. It dips backward like this. Actually dips a little bit more than that. And if you, um, oh, I wrote 25% off. Okay, sorry, it's 24. I know, it was because of the date. So um, anyway, but if you've got really big hair, this is a good one for you. And it stretches too, so, um, so it's really great for that. Um, I've had ladies who have really, really full, thick, curly hair, like um, textured hair. So um, anyway, tame your mane. <laughs> so this is my store and um, this is all the, uh, let's see, I'll just show you what all I have in here while I'm in here. This, the book you can get, and it's a minimum of $5 purchase, um, but this is the ebook version of my book and it's just showing like all the patterns. There's 10 patterns that come in there, but there's a whole bunch of stuff. And there's a whole bunch of charts in there. And um, it shows you all my reviews here. Um, and then um, you can also get the Chic Retreat Cowl, and there's also a video pattern, but if you wanna get the, if you wanna get the, um, the cowl pattern, and it has charts and everything in there. Um, if you've seen the video, but you've been wanting to get this, this is a good deal. Um, because as long as you have five dollars in the cart, it 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 takes it away from that. It does. It's not five dollars with the discount, so your your thing could be less than that. So this is one nine three ninety nine, and then I have a bunch of one ninety nine um, uh, deals. This is one of my first patterns I wrote, and so it would uh, drop that price there. Anyway, so there's a whole bunch in there. There's a huge list. Oh man, Marley, you're here. I was just gonna go to your broadcast. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you made it super easy. Um, I'm so glad you're here. Um, let's see. Marley, Marley Bird, thank you for popping on. Um, I got all discombobulated trying to do a broadcast from my computer this morning and got all crazy. And anyway, so I was just about to go find your link. So, oh my gosh, y'all. Marley Bird from the Yarn Thing podcast hopping on. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to find... I'm going back to my page here. This is Marley. So, okay, she's on here. You guys, I'm just gonna hit like, ooh, I can pin your comment. Yes, I pinned her comment. Look at that. Um, anyway, um, if you wanna send me, uh, then you'll, oh, you'll add my sale? Oh, look at you. Oh, that's awesome. Um, oh, okay, then I don't need to pin your comment. <laughs> okay, I'll have to get you an image, girl. Okay, but your cyber deals um, are here. Okay, so let me pin that one. Okay, hey! Okay, look for the pinned comment from Marley Bird. I'll add my deal. Um, also, there is a deal from, let me get it, let me get it. Um, sorry, I'm kinda out of sorts today. I've got some big stuff coming I'm waiting to find out about, and I'm just kinda beside myself. I can't announce it, and Marley knows the deal about that. Sorry, I'm looking around trying to find my my thing here so I can paste it to the event. Here we go, here we go. Here's a here's a link for you. Knitting Board has three looms on sale. So I have this really pretty shawl back here that was made on the big S loom. Um, the, they call it the Afghan loom, but it's, it's an S shape. And I did that video released over the weekend and um, people have been like so excited. But it's 40% off today. The code is Monday. The link is below. Um, the, it is an affiliate link. The um, uh, Leisure Arts, also, oh, I'm sorry. So Afghan Loom, the Sock Loom, EFG, the Extra Fine Gauge, and the Hat Loom are all on sale for 40% off, and I believe it's today only. So um, you're gonna wanna get in on that because that's a more expensive loom. I would totally get that if you don't have it already. Um, but you can make that shawl, and that shawl is um, 78 inches wide um, when it's all stretched out, and it actually works really well. Um, I, my friend um, wore it. I want to get a picture of her with it. Um, she's larger like me, probably a little bit rounder, um, 
of the shoulders and stuff and then but it also goes and slinks back down to a smaller size more like 60 so it's really great and you can add extra um, width to it because you're only using like half the loom so you don't have to make just afghans on that loom so anyway um, what else leisure arts is having 50% off of their um, if you go to leisurearts.com um, they are having 50% um, off digital books, 30% um, off coloring books, and all products and their yarn is on sale. So I'm sure that it's a lot of different, um, a lot of different deals. Anyway, oh my gosh, that's so weird. Okay, so Marley, are you still around? So little tip for you, when I pin your comment, okay, I'm gonna have to unpin it because I can't talk to people. Um, when I pin your comment, um, when I'm turned um, landscape, it I only see like two to three comments at a time. And so when I pin a comment, it like shuts it down to where I can only see like one comment at a time. It's so crazy. Anyway, all right, I'm so glad you joined me. I am thrilled. I can't even tell you, I'm, I'm fangirling and trying not to show it. So um, anyway, okay, what else, what else, what else? So I've got Joann's, here's another one. Did you say you're sticking to your shopping list? <laughs> hey, you were warned when you came on. I told you that it was Cyber Monday and you you guys, this is shopping day. So, <laughs> you, you, it, it's, it's, like, it's like in the description when you click on it. So I'm just saying. <laughs> so funny. Okay, I'm trying to find the other comment. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really out of sorts here. Okay, where is the thing? I'm such a dork. Okay. Um, so sorry. Not finding it. Okay. There was a whole bunch more. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, if I find any other deals going on, then what I'm gonna do is um, add them into the, um, uh, add them into here. And if you guys have any, um, oh, here we go, here we go, here's some more. Um, if you guys have any deals that you found, um, then let me know. Virtual shopping with friends is a blast. <laughs> okay. Okay, Kelly, okay, Kelly Searson, Kelly Clowder Searson, she has loom picks and handles. Um, e yes, Chris, we love Marley. You're fangirling? <laughs> awesome. We're in a good, we're in good boats. Um, now, she had a deal on um, Black Friday, so let me just copy this link, and let's see if she still has a deal going on. So, there's one. I'm just shooting some links over. Um, and so she had really pretty custom handled, um, loom picks. And then we have, um, goes till Monday. Okay. Julie Galloway has hand knitted item patterns and some more. I'm just going to copy what she's written, um, and send it on over. And you guys can check these links out for yourself. I have not previewed her page. Um, but it's D and J hobby and crafts by DJ hobby and crafts. Let's see. She, oh, that's her Etsy store. And then um, Karen has a shop, and she has knitwear, custom signs, vintage items, and cute surprises, 15% off all weekend. So you can see if it's still there. And so I'm going to post that. And that should work. And then what else? What else? Okay. So those are the what I've got. I'm going to flip over, and you can see the um, loom picks. So these loom picks here. Okay. Now, um, I'm waiting to really say anything, but there is a new loom pick on horizon that they have filed for a patent on. And, um, I'm getting excited. Kathy Carter, is that her name? Kathy, I'm waiting on Kathy's, um, pick to come, but it pearls and knits as well. And, it's kind of like a holy grail sort of thing. And so I, I'm like, I, I can't wait to get my package. Um, they're $10 for the standard loom pick. 
um, just a standard handle and 25 for the custom ones. So the ones kind of like Kelly has, they're a similar sort of look to them. Um, custom crafted, they're like a double-sided hook and you can actually um, purl it pretty much as fast as a knitting st uh, stitch. So pretty amazing. You ordered her pick on Friday, you can't wait, Ellie. I'm excited for you. I don't know how long it's gonna take to get whatever she sent me. I mean, you know, but anyway, I, I can't I can't tell you. I'm checking my mailbox every day because I think it was like early last week when she said she was gonna send it. So I don't know when she actually sent it. Yeah, it looks super cool. Stephanie, you too, did you get one? So I don't know. I mean, I pretty much think they're gonna sell themselves. I'm gonna let people know. If I love it, you guys know I'm gonna talk about it. Um, I'm gonna try, I may have to wear gloves on it. I'm gonna try and see if it'll like come out I know I hope to not wreck something, but I want to see how well it works. Thank you for the link, Stephanie. I'm just looking. Um, yeah, it went on sale on Friday. It's not like on sale, but I mean, it's for sale. So I believe 10 and 25 are the prices. If you guys see that, Stephanie, um, what else? What else? Good morning, Fatma. Um, let's see. Highline. Good morning. Crochet hooks handle. Do you have crochet hooks for sale? Hi, Martha, welcome, good morning. Did Marley step out? <laughs> she probably did. I'm gonna talk about loom knitting and all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. Anyway, um, if you guys didn't catch my broadcast, uh, while we're waiting for anybody to add any other links, if you didn't catch my broadcast Friday, I went through and made this infinity scarf and um, yes, up for sale, not on sale. Um, so I made this and I, I'm gonna have to block it again. I actually tried blocking it. I didn't do it for long enough because we had people coming to our house and it's still like wavy. <sighs> Although everybody tells me they love it wavy. I just wanted to see it flat, more flat. So I might leave it like this, but this is the, um, this is the scarf. This is the parallelogram. Um, infinity scarf and I can get it around like three times to make a nice thick thick cow but look isn't that pretty and so that's the patterning I just didn't like that it was like all squished up and then I wasn't seeing the coloring because I'm like well I could have just done a broken rib stitch for that so um, boy crochet handle them Bay Chris. I'm not sure what you're saying, Line. I'm sorry. Um, you think it came out really pretty? Thank you. Um, okay, so does did anybody catch my um my live knitting demo back in August? It was at the end of August. It's actually, I think it was um on the 24th or something. So it's now been um three months. Oh my gosh, has it been that long? I've been broadcasting for over three months now, daily. I didn't realize it'd been that long. Um, anyway, oh, Cindy Wood has, oh, oh, Cindy Wood has a sale. Okay, um, do we need, okay, so, uh, Cindy Wood Crafts. Let me see if I can get that link up. Oh, her site's being weird. Okay, hold on. Premium. Isn't her alternate name Premium Knitting Looms? Whoa, is her site down or something? It looks really weird. Oh, the menu system's open and it looks weird. Okay. Well, let me just copy this and then I'll paste it in the group. So they're saying um, Black Friday sales there. Um, let me look. Black Friday sale. Okay. Are they still for sale? Yes, everything's still for sale. I'm just gonna give you the Black Friday link. And here you go, Black Friday link. Items still on sale as of this moment. Okay, so there's the link directly to Black Friday and you should be able to see that. And let me show you what's on their page. Cute. Looming Queen. Look at that bag. That's kind of fun. Um, big Book of Cows. They actually have some books in here. That's nice. 
Um, they have their S loom. This is 193 peg. Um, you get a baby twin size. Um, it's a 3 8 inch 36. Um, here's a little loom keychain. That's kind of cool. So you could do a little um, little spool knitter there. Um, anyway, all these looms here. Oh, look at these bags. Loomaholic. Keep calm and loom on. Looming queen. That These are fun. I haven't seen their bags before. So this is cool. Okay. That's what they and who else do we have any other links anybody is sharing and I missed it wavy is pretty if it's acrylic it might not block out well I squeezed it out like a lot Chris um, like I squeezed out way too much excess um, water and then I pinned it and I thought you know what I need to I need to spray it but I had someone over at the time and she was always teaching her how to knit and so I was a little distracted and then I had to pull it up when it was still slightly damp because we were having a showing the next day at our house and I'm like I can't leave out my blocking so it really it really sucks trying to sell your house my house we still haven't gotten offers and I'm frustrated so but it does have um it does have um, wool content in here, so um, and I have been successful when I have at least 20%. Um, so, yeah. Red Heart has buy two balls, get the third free. That's outstanding. That is outstanding. And then I, and I said, I think I said Leisure Arts is having a yarn sale as well. A lot of people having yarn sales. Who else? Did I miss anybody? I know I did. I had to have missed people. Um... I have, oh, my phone. Okay, this, thank you. Kiss is having their sale. Who sent that? Joanne, okay, Joanne's posted, Kiss is having a 10% off sale through the end of November code. Happy Christmas. Okay, so kisslooms.com. Thank you, Joanne, for that. Um, Kiss is, um, yeah, Chris, I'm, I think I'm gonna steam it. That's actually the next thing I was gonna do. I still like it, though. I think it's pretty. Do y'all like this? Um, it also softened it up a little bit. Um, so, um, anywho, um, let's see what else, what else, what else? Check your emails. Do you, do you guys subscribe to all the different emails and stuff for different people? I get way too many and then I just start deleting. Oh yeah. Red Heart Cyber Monday. Get ball, um, balls by two, get, um, get third free. And, um, Marley is a spokesperson for Red Heart. Um, Yarnspirations has been having incredible sales. If you guys follow Yarnspirations at all, check out theirs. That's been right. Um, but check out Yarnspirations um, on Facebook. And they post like crazy. So if you want some sales on Bernat and Karen and all that entails. Oh, that's how you knew about the Red Heart sale. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I'm glad you like it. Oh my gosh, Bridget, yes, I am all over the stick in place. So I was going to talk about a video I did in August. <sighs> Bridget, thank you for keeping me on track. I am all over. Okay, so, y'all, this is not my tor my typical planned out session, right? Um, it's after turkey day, right? So we're, we're all discombobulated from all the tryptophan, right? That's my excuse. Okay, so the video, knitting video. I uploaded the whole thing in its entirety to YouTube and I was like, well, number one, <coughs> excuse me, people aren't realizing that it was a previously recorded thing. Like, you know how when I do my broadcast and I'm like, if you're alive, tell me your blah, blah, blah and, and say this. And so people will type this, but when they're on the replay, sometimes they answer me like I can answer them back um, or I'll respond. And so like people are responding um, on YouTube to my Facebook live video, which is not live anymore. Anyway, so I'm hoping that people kind of get it and understand that, they're, they're, that, that I'm not going to answer that question. So, cause I won't know at what point they did that unless they like put the timestamp. So if you're one of those people who have watched, I'm sorry, but you might have to like tell me at what moment you're answering. If you want me to answer a question and you're saying, what about blah, 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 and it makes no sense to me, you might have to like go t show me the times, like write what time it is when you're asking the question. So anyway, but I put all the links in the comments below on the video. It's doing, the video is doing pretty well. I was surprised. I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna put it in its entirety because 
here's the thing. I talk to you guys so much throughout that knitting class. I uploaded and I called it knitting class. Um, I talked so much that I thought, I, there's no way I can just like cut it up cut the class up. So it's like an hour and a half class. So if you didn't get to see it in August uh, and you want to learn how to knit on needles or at least watch me, I go through four different cast-ons. I do the knit stitch. I do the purl stitch. I bind off. I talk about um, uh, going backwards and unknitting something that you did to get back to, to fixing something else. Um, there's, there's a lot that I covered, a ton of like little tips and stuff. So anyway, that's good. Um, oh, thank you for the knit picks, Joanne. Yes, knit picks. I wish I had my blanket with me. I had this really pretty um, uh, dongle tweed uh, that I got, uh, that I did this blanket in for knitting board um, from knit picks. And it was gorgeous. It's like this deep burgundy blood red. <laughs> I, say, I call it blood red, like that deep, a deep burgundy kind. Um, the dongle tweed is so beautiful. Um, how many different loops are there? I'm just starting with looping. Just got a small one. Martha, I'm not really sure what you're asking me. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all over. I'm going back and forth in my comments here. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Um, McCall's Quilting, if you're a quilter, has um, a store-wide savings on Cyber Monday. You get 30% off your order. And the code is, um, let me see if I can copy the link. The code is kind of a goofy code. It's Q-A-S-S-C-Y-B-E-R-M. So... If I read that, am I going to be, um, anyway, so it's like cyber M for Monday, but the word in front of it is Q ass. Quass, Q A S cyber M. Anyway, that's the code. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Uh, code Q A S S C Y B E R M. Um, this is for uh, quilting, 30% off. Now, hopefully it will work, this link will work, um, because this is a code, um, it looks like it's like a clicky kind of link from my, oops, um, from my email, because I'm sharing the link that was in my email. Um, Let me see if I click on that. Don't miss up. Open link. Okay. Let's see if that works. Oh, they got fat quarters, fat quarter pack, all kinds of things. There it goes. All right. I'll just, I don't know if that's the same link. Anyway, someone like that link. Um, Ellie, can you, oh, <laughs> it sounds like Klingon, Ellie. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know anybody. My brother-in-law might speak it. Louisa, are you here? Does Michael speak Klingon? Uh, does Martha mean looms? I might have auto-corrected on her. Okay, not really sure. Martha, yeah, Martha um, Magby, Prawl, prale, prawl. Anyway, we don't, I'm not really sure what your question is, but I would love to answer it. Um, can you kind of rephrase that a little bit? Are you talking about looming maybe, or are you talking about knitting and making some loops somehow? Anyway, um, Michael Selleck is starting to teach some, um, uh, some knitting and um, I noticed that one of his videos, he referred to something as twisting and turning and through the loops and something like that, but it's not, so if people start calling it loops, that's not, that's not a regular term. So um, the one of them where he said that it was, it was actually the cable cast on. And so I don't know if that'll add to the confusion if someone's reading that. Um, 
I'm only sensitive to that because I just recently heard it. So, um, let's see. What else? What else? Anybody else have any good sales that you want us to know about? Let me go back and check my email. I have a ton in my email. Oh, Wool in the Gang. Yes, Wool in the Gang. I have done a thing for Wool in the Gang. Let me show you. This box. Sorry. While I lean back. This box for Wool in the Gang. You get a really awesome packaging. And, um... I will find my link because quite honestly, the link that is on there, it kind of tracks and lets them know. I don't get any discount, but lets them know that I referred you guys. But I have this awesome, this is called um, Crazy Sexy Wool. Ooh, look at this, isn't this nice? So if you have wanted to try wool in the gang, um, it ends, uh, Cyber Monday ends tonight, 35% off everything it says which there's a ton of <laughs> Ellie <laughs> you're hilarious anyway um this is this is the green one let's see what do they call this one moss green and then check out this pink y'all check out this hot pink Ooh, look at that so if you have a need for some super hot pink and pretty moss green um, but that's crazy sexy wool and then I got some really pretty actually these would be a great gift for someone hold on I'm gonna reach them um, I got some needles from uh, wool in the game oh my gosh I love these needles they're so beautiful um, if you want to get any like really incredible needle, this is how they came. So this would be a really good if, good um, gift for someone. And they come in this little package here. I don't know why I saved the package, but that's how they came. And then on the end it says, this will be flipped for you, but it says W-A-T-G, Wool and the Gang. <laughs> anyway, they're very smooth. Um... I'm not sure if it's actually ebony, but anyway, it's a US 15 or 10 millimeter. They are 14 inches long and they are, I'm not sure if it says the content, like what wood it is, but it's smooth like a birch would be. And uh, anyway, it's really pretty. It's like an ebonized or something. And then I had gotten a crochet hook and it came in this little bag here. And then, um, of which I can't find. I think it's with a whip that's stuck in a thing. But anyway, they um, they sent it in this bag inside to even further protect it. So anyway, wool in the gang. And if I can find my, actually, let me do this. Wool and the gang. Let me see if I can find my um, note from her and get my link. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all a link. Hold on, hold on. Crazy sexy wool. Okay, got it. 35% off today. There we go. Yay. Got it. Okay. So now you have your um, crazy sexy wool for 35% off. That's pretty sweet. Um, let me, let me see. I want to show you um, the, um, that doesn't exist. Oh, stop it. I have to edit. I'm so sorry. Here we go. I'm sorry. Um, let's see, let's see. Anybody else, anybody else? Okay, let me flip it. Look at this. This is Crazy Sexy Wool. This is the one that I got. Um, they're supposed to be 35% off. So like if you just go to sale on the upper side here, 
go click on that. And uh, this is crochet your own. These are, um, I believe these are like kits. And then it shows you what comes in your kit. Um, it requires, um, this kit requires this many balls. Um, uh, anyway, it tells you the things that you, you want. So anyway, oh, it also asks if you want to have um, an extra ball. So you choose the seat, of, like this one's a cushion. And so then you choose the color that you want. And um, this is an inter level is intermediate. And then so once you choose the cover color that you want, it shows you what color you got. And then it says, do you want an extra ball for your pom poms? Yes, I want pom poms. Do you need a hook? Shh, no, thanks. I've got a hook. And then you say add to my bag and then um, it adds to your bag. Um, anyway, so that's pretty cool. And then like so they have like all these cool kits. Like, look at this throw here. Isn't this fun? And these are loops. Like, this is a loop stitch. See how it, like, pops out like that? That's actually a loop stitch. And this is another reason I want to go to the site. Because when she was talking about loops, this is an actual stitch. And you you basically, like, hold it out with your thumb or your finger. And you can make these um, loose loops outward like that. So, oh, Martha, like your hat. Did I make it? Yes. I made my hat. It's, um... It is my um, slouchy beanie hat. You can get that on, um, it's my slouchy newsboy hat. You can get it on my Etsy store. And there's 24% off today. If you go and look in the comments, you'll see it. And look at that, here's a shade. Here's a clutch. Um, little puppet, look at this little puppet. Look, it's a shark puppet. Isn't that fun? So you could have a shark puppet accompany your little sharp snuggly. Your inspiration has that little snuggly thing. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Okay, let's get another color so you can see. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Isn't that fun? Hello, I am a shark. <laughs> and then, oh, I guess it's showing a model like wearing it. Is that right? Oh, oh, see? Yeah, she's got them. How fun on the runway. Look at that. She's got it on the runway. Isn't that fun? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the um, slouchy newsboy hat. It's made on the 48 inch, uh, 48 peg, 5 eighths loom, round circular loom. And it is, um, you can make it like more fitted like this, or it's got, it shows you what section that you can add or take out depending on how much slouch you want. And then it has a nice flat back that's been uh, done. So it's got this little brim on it. You can choose to not do the brim or you can do the brim and like fold it up and put like a, bo a button here or something. But if you don't do the soft brim, it has this, it's still a cool beanie. So, and I, I like this color cause it's kind of, it's gender neutral. You know, I also have a super bright hot pink one that I did on needles. So if you like to work on needles, I have a version on needles for this. And um, and then I did the brown one that's the original. So anyway, your girl's three years out. What? Oh, I missed your question earlier. I'm sorry, hun. What did your girls throw out? Um, good morning, Ada. I see you hop on. So Christy Lee, I'm sorry your girls threw out whatever you asked about. That sucks. Hi Patty, I see you popped on. Oh yeah, Chris is, okay, so I'm scrolling back. Yes, Chris, the crocheters are, are they upset, Chris, that he did knitting? I'm sorry, guys, we're talking about the crochet crowd. Um, he's doing some knitting um, videos and um, and he's learning some more knitting, which is great. Um, love love that. But um, he's so known for the um, crochet stuff that he just he had a little bit of backlash and he decided, you know what, I'm gonna keep making them, but I'm gonna put them on this other page that I had started years ago because he's done knitting in the past. Um, actually, had a really neat way of casting on. Um, like holding a knitting needle, like, can you imagine like 
putting your needle between your knees and like, so it's like st sitting in your lap and then like a way to do the long tail cast on. So if it's hard for you doing the slingshot method. So he actually had an old video of that. So if you want to check it out, check it out. Um, but he did a ton of like ruffle scarves. And I'll tell you what, I actually did several videos and I hesitated and I actually didn't upload them um, on different sachet, um, using the sachet yarn for the fringe, um, um, like the, I mean the ruffle scarves. I had, I did a crochet one, I did one with needles, I did one on the loom and in the, like a couple of different methods and everybody and their dog was making them and I was like, you know, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to upload it. I can't tell you how many times I've started to make stuff and all of a sudden a ton of people make them and I'm like, I'm not going to be on the bandwagon. <laughs> so I didn't. But I didn't realize, Chris, that crocheters were actually ticked off. So um, I did see a few people making some comments, but I really didn't think it was that big of a deal. So um, anyway, you subscribe to his uh, YouTube page? That's great. Um, so he is learning and so there are some terms that may not match up. Um, I hope he continues to learn and, uh, anyway, I'm going to go tomorrow night. Would you guys like me to broadcast? I'm going to go meet him up. Well, I, I've met him in person before and, um, but I'm going to go to Michael's, um, Michael's craft stores and he has an event on Tuesday night tomorrow night in Dallas I'm gonna go drive out there get someone to watch my kids and go out there and um, so yeah yeah your inspirations um, yeah he said he said that um, your inspirations had talked to him a few times about doing some stuff so I am oh, yeah so um Anyway, there's some, man, there's some things I'm dying to tell you all and I'm just waiting to hear about some stuff. So anyway, until I can, I can't say anything. But anyway, yeah. Okay, so I'll broadcast. It's at six o'clock tonight. Um, it's from like six to eight or nine or whatever. And then um, I'm going to try and get there super early. I know that he said he doesn't get there till six, but people start lining up at five. So um, I'll try and bring some backup battery and broadcast as much as I can. So you can keep a secret, Ellie. I can't because it involves a company and I cannot say anything until I have a contract. So I can't. <laughs> um, I'm dying to tell you what's going on I have like a couple of things going on that are just <sighs> I just really 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 want to tell you anyway you know I'm just gonna say God is good you know I know you don't come on knitting page to hear me talk about God but I'm just saying that God is good and I'm just going to continue to do what I'm doing and have fun doing what I'm doing. And when people approach me, um, I am super happy. And I'm sorry, Martha, I'm cutting in and out. It's pretty cloudy today, so I'm not getting a thing telling me I'm having a bad broadcast, though. So, was I right? Hopefully, it'll clear up whenever it's on the replay. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to say that some things have been coming towards me and then I'm kind of countering, um, you know, and then, um, and find it. And if they still want me to do something, then I'm going to do it. Um, and I'm just incredibly blessed and I'm still praying and believing for a new studio. Um, my house is wonderful and beautiful and I enjoy it, but I need something private. And as you saw, it is really hard for me to do something when I have the kids here. It's loud. And I know that some people do videos and their kids are in the background or animals or whatever. And I can't stand that for myself. It's fine for other people. It's not fine for me because I want to try and be as professional as I can when I'm, when I'm making a tutorial because I don't want there to be a ton of distractions. Now, in the past, I have learned my lesson about having music throughout the whole thing. So some people are like, that's annoying. Turn that off, which I can't because it's already uploaded. So anyway, you're excited to see what's in store for the future. Thanks, Vic. I appreciate, yes, I, I enjoy you guys. Um, 
I want to offer you the best and there's so many things that I desire so many huge and big ideas um, I'm an idea person um, but you can't get to see you you guys only see probably about five percent of all the ideas that I have um, because I physically can't do all the things that I want to do um, I just, I, I, you know, I used to ponder and wonder about working for like, say like the 3M corporation. I would love to just sit and like be in a think tank, idea tank and just like spit out ideas and then other people do them. Um, not like he, you go do this and you go to no, but just be like, okay, we could do this. And like, this is how we problem solve this thing. And this is it. I love that. So <laughs> Ellie, I love when the cat stroll in the shot and lay down. <laughs> yeah animals aren't so bad unless they're on your knitting or something. Um, and then like, I mean, cats aren't that bad unless they're going crazy. Like whenever, um, whenever cat, uh, cat, Carol, whenever Carol and I are, um, FaceTiming, like sometimes Jilly, her, um, her cat, she has this black cat and Jilly will like start climbing on the shelves and like either fall off or it sounds like she's falling off or she's running around or she's in the blinds or she runs right in front of the camera and I see this tail go, you know? Um, so, um, it would be, <laughs> Joanne says it would be fun to hang out in my brain for a day. I don't know. That might be a little chaotic for you. <laughs> I don't know. See, see, Joanne has something that I need and she's like, she's got this organized thing in her brain and, um, I, I don't know. I think she would probably not like all the disorder. It works for me though. I'll tell you. Okay. So this is, this tells you how my brain works different from other people. I took a psychology class at TCU and it was like one of these classes that you had to take and, um, <laughs> they were talking about, um, what's it called? Um, clustering. And, um, this is actually, I, I think this is a good exercise. This is a good knitting exercise. Um, when, when you think, um, and you can actually draw like clustering out for yourself, um, and like what's related to what, but, um, like if you take a subject and then you do these like webs, you kind of like think of like a word that comes out of like, when you think of this word, what do you, what do you think of? And so they did this thing like fire truck. What do you think of? Or maybe it was fire. What do you think of fire truck? You know, what do you think about fire truck? And everybody's yelling out different things. And I'm like, yellow. <laughs> and they're like, okay. And then everybody stops and they look at me and they're like, fire trucks are red. And I'm like, no, they're not. They're not all red. Because <laughs> where I grew up, the fire trucks were yellow. But most places they're not, or they could be white. Like there's another place near me and then they're white. And because there's so many um, small towns in this big metropolitan area all squished together, they paint them different because then you know what town goes with what. And so I just think different. So my, my brain doesn't go with the automatic, whatever you're supposed to think. And they're like, school buses are yellow. And I'm like, well, yes, <laughs> but anyway, um, I need to clone myself, Ellie says. That would be fun. We would have a party together. Then I could do a dual broadcast and I have Kristen and Kristen. Or I had Kristen and Kay. My middle name's Kay. Make a list. You can't live without a list. Martha, you have no idea. Ellie, you got yellow ones? And Oh, really? D-E, D -E, Delaware, right? You're in Delaware. You have yellow ones. That's cool. See? I'm not the only one. Um, yeah, I have lists for my list like more like find the list. Um, I'll go into a knitting bag and find a list and I'm like, wow, that was a really good one. I wish I had remembered where that list was. Um, <laughs> I have lists all over the place and I do try and get to them, but, um, I'm just, I too, too creative. So, um, for my own good, I need, I need Joanne here to whip me in shape or, or Carol. So, Anyway, I am just, I'm just riffing right now. I'm just chatting along and not even showing you more sales. So, oh, Delaware next state over. Most of New Jersey's are red though. Yeah. Joycey. Um, so anyway, okay. Oh, 
Let me see if there's any more. I'm gonna go check my email real quick and see if I have one more to tell you. Did anybody find any more? I was hoping that someone might have another one to pop in. Oh, Kristen Amadal. Yes, Kristen Amadal. That's one that I wanted to tell you. So if you like really um, swanky, silky, beautiful things, if you, um, she does a lot of crochet. I think she has some knitting stuff too, but she has her own line of fiber. And if you, um, it, she's, she wrote the book um, Crochet So Fine. And um, what else she does? Oh, right now, if you buy um, if you buy a shawl kit, um, that she's got seven new shawl kits that have been added. And what she does is she kits her patterns um, with her yarn. And then um, she's also got it says um, new shawl kits have been added, and I'm gifting you with a beaded shawl pin made by her with every shawl or vest yarn kit. And she'll do her best to coordinate the colors. It makes a great gift. And um, let me see. All yarns on sale. Always free winding with every shipping and coupon. So, like, she has hanks. And um, and then they need to be wound. And so she, um, she will um, wind them for you. Um, it says... Uh, so you get all three rolled in one. Here's your recap what's on sale. All yarn automatically on sale. No coupon needed. All books are automatically on sale. No coupons and fabrics. And then she's got a sample sale um, of seven new handmade garments that are handmade by her. So if you actually want a full garment, you can do that. And then if you are in the U.S. and you type in free shipping, all caps, no spaces, um, you get um, free shipping from her. Oh good, Knit Crate and Darn Good Yarn. Thank you for those um, kits there. Kristen Amidal, yes, she's been doing a lot of knitting lately and put her pa patterns on her site for free. Awesome. She does stuff all the time. If you don't follow her, you should. Um, she also has, um, she also has a, um, oh my gosh. I use Soak, but she uses, um, I think it's called Rapture, and it's for washing your um, delicates and hand knits and, and crocheted items. And um, you you um, you can wash your things in that, and she sells that. So um, let's see. Um, if you go to kristenalmadal.com, um, let me get the link. Copy, copy link. I'm just gonna put the link directly in here, and then that that way, and not all, all the other stuff. So if you just go to Kristen Almadal, you'll click you'll click on that. So my name is Kristen K R I S T. E N and hers is I N. And um, anyway, I would love to meet her one day. She is pretty inspiring. So anyway, that is it for today. Be sure and check out the link for Marley. She's got a ton of stuff on there. Um, yes, thank you, Domestic Abuse Charity. Thank you, Chris. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, all a portion of her sales goes to Domestic Abuse Charity because it's out of her own. Um, her own experiences that she um, that she does that so she is a survivor and it's she's pretty awesome so um, anyway y'all check that out be sure and check out the link for Marley um, I would love if you got my uh, ebook and again it's till the end of November and um, about by the way Etsy I don't know if you know um, Etsy has gift cards so if you want to get a gift card for people who are um, who are other fellow crafters? That's a great way to do it, especially if they buy any patterns on Etsy. So I don't know that you can do that on Ravelry, but you can on Etsy. So anyway, oh hi Albert, your daughter Ashlyn loves my stream. She's seven and wants to know when you got started. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna talk to your daughter. Hi Ashlyn, I'm so glad you watched me. That's really cool. Um, my daughter, I have two daughters and. Um, my daughter, one of my daughters is a year older than you, and then I have an older one. Um, I started, I was about your age when um, I got curious about doing um, crochet, and um, my great aunt taught me, and she taught me how, I think I still have it, it's this little bitty bracelet thing. And unfortunately, she lived kind of far away, otherwise I would have kept going. But I know that there are a ton of very successful and very happy, even if they're not doing it in the yarn world, uh, people who started when they were your age. So this is a great time to learn and start. Things will, um, some
some of the hard things will never be hard for you as you learn as you go right now. Um, so it's a great thing. Um, you know, just have fun. Um, but I started, um, because I was so far away from her, then I picked up and learned, um, uh, finger knitting. I don't think anybody really taught me. I just kind of figured it out. And, um, I did get in trouble at school. I was, I was a faster reader than some people in my class. And so, um, I had some yarn in a bag and it was next to me on the floor. And when I would finish reading, um, I'm not so fast anymore, but for that level, when I was in third grade, um, I, I, I got in trouble because <laughs> they were like, stop knitting. And so I had to put it down. And so I got in trouble so many times, I actually stopped and I wish I hadn't. Um, but I kept up my crafty stuff and I learned crafts. So, um, that's pretty much how I got my start. And then I didn't pick up anything until I was an adult. And I wish now older me wishes that I had stuck with it when I was younger, but more of like a, I'm having fun and I'm not trying to pressure myself, but um, I might have started doing things for charity when I was a kid and really enjoying it because I see some of those things happening for kids nowadays. And I'm like, man, that seems like something I would do, but I just, it just didn't have that support at home. But here's a tip. So if you do make something um, and you sell it, like someone says, that's amazing, I wanna sell it, be sure and um, sell it and then set aside that money and you can use that money to buy more stuff so you can make stuff and um, and save your money and then put back a portion. So anyway, so if you decide to do that, save half of it and then spend the rest on some more product. And then when you make some more, then you could do that. And then you can you can start learning about how to how to have fun with that. But that would be my advice to you. I did a lot of crafty businesses. Um, I did. When I was in high school, in junior high and high school, I worked with um, my mom and we made um, crafty items for um, friends and neighbors and relatives and um, people at school. Um, in, in Texas, it's a big thing to do mums for homecoming and you do these big, obnoxious, ugly, yucky, big things. You'll have to have your, your uh, Albert, <laughs> your dad, I guess, to um, Google it for you, but homecoming mums are crazy and um, they are hilarious and big. But anyway, people paid good money for them. But I called it Kristen's Crafts with a K. And then I made little earrings and little necklaces and that was just a lot of fun. And so um, I was really sad after I had one of my last babies and, um, and I just, I prayed about it and I just felt like I needed to start going back into crafty stuff because it just made me feel good. Yeah, so it makes me feel good in my heart to, to do this stuff. So I'm so glad that you watch me. And uh, anyway, thank you guys for um, coming and watching today. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll do some loom knitting. I'm not sure what we're going to do tomorrow, but we're going to work on some loom knitting stuff. And then um, Wednesday, I'm actually going to be um, at a museum trip with my daughter. I'll try and do an early broadcast um, uh, if I can. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to the Perot Museum, and I'm a chaperone, so I will be at the museum, <laughs> and I'll be driving at the time that I should be broadcasting, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so if I can either get there early and broadcast, or if I can uh, do it earlier than that. So anyway, you guys have a great day, and as soon as I have announcement stuff, you will hear from me. And remember, Tuesday night, um, I'll be meeting up with Mikey at the Crochet Crowd. All right, bye everyone.